what is going on guys once again welcome my name is Amit Rai and in the previous video tutorials I have already shown you how to successfully install and boot into a Windows 7 UEFI supported system as you can see I am success successfully running this Windows 7 system that says EFI system partition now here it is in the properties Windows 7 professional service pack 1 and that is successfully activated windows is activated now i have uh, installed ubuntu side by side windows 7 but there is a problem that it does not boots or never asks for any boot menu so i have got a solution to that problem uh, it's a small hack which you can do on every boot and nobody will ever know that you have two OSS installed in a single system all you got as you can see that while booting there isn't any menu that is asking to boot into another OS or something like that but the windows is directly booting in and there is no sign of any Ubuntu installed in this system and as you can see all the partitions that I have in my system they are all supported by windows as well as Ubuntu but there isn't any sign of Ubuntu because it is installed side by side Windows 7 now all you guys need to do is while the system is being restarted you have to press escape button or any special key in in case if you have a different motherboard or a PC and you have to change the boot order while in the menu of a boot order you will be prompted to select as you can see I have to press F9 to set the boot device options now as I press F9 there are several boot option menus and the first one says that it will boot me into Windows boot manager and the second option tells me to boot into UEFI supported Ubuntu operating system both are installed side by side and this will only appear if I press the special key character F9 so I have to just select this and hit enter as soon as I hit enter you can see that Ubuntu pops up again after hitting enter I will be successfully booted into the Ubuntu operating system the system is being booted into Ubuntu we have to wait for a while it's taking some time and yes the screen is glowing and the system is in starting in Ubuntu operating system now as the desktop screen has appeared and you can see written at the left top corner Ubuntu desktop and this system is running successfully 3.58 am all you guys can see different hard disk partitions and the first partition shows the C drive where all the other windows files are placed and also the Ubuntu files because as I already told you I have installed Ubuntu side by side Windows 7. Now, thank you very much, guys. See you in the next tutorial.